Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first day of the fall uh, virtual Allotrope Connect meeting. Uh, my name is Jamie Burgess. I'm with the Allotrope Foundation Secretariat. Uh, this is the first of, of three days for um, this virtual workshop. Uh, just before we get started, I'll just give a, the, the brief antitrust admonition to remind everyone this call and all the meetings are subject to Allotrope's antitrust guidelines. Must avoid topics of completely sensitive nature, such as pricing and market shares. And with that, I'll hand it over to uh, Vinny Amatushi, the, the chair of Allotrope Foundation. Great. Thank you very much, Jamie. Um, thanks, and, and welcome, everyone, to our virtual event. I mean, uh, as I'm sure as, as all of us had hoped for, and certainly we did at Allotrope, and probably your experience in this and many other parts of your life, we hoped so much when we had to go virtual with our spring event, which um, hopefully you had a chance to attend. Um, we thought, you know, thought it was, was uh, very well attended and, and an event that actually played pretty well to virtual. But we still hope to have that human interaction and, and be t together um, as, a, as a team in the fall for obviously not only that interaction but the larger picture of, of what's going on in our world right now to, to have us all together. Unfortunately, that's not that's not the case. So we're, we're together again virtually um, and we welcome everyone and really thank you. Um, I'm sure your life is the same as everyone's. Um, it's great that we can do these things virtually, um, those of us who have IT related things in our roles. Um, but, but you know, we do, we do I think, all um, desperately look forward to those days when we can do our next virtual meeting together again. Um, but the venue works well and, and we'll use it again today. So um, next slide. I'm not sure who's controlling is it. Yeah, great. Um, so what I'm just going to do is give you a very quick, you know, besides welcoming you, just a very quick overview of the agenda. I think we have, um, as always, um, as we like to say in Allotrope, we always are very excited to see what the theme or the spine is. And I think as we look at, at this year's um, fall offering, it's really it's really cool to see how the, the uh, foundation is going forward. You'll see today um, talks that uh, cover a number of different techniques, but but um, and and also approaches. But also, you're going to see different applications of our various products that our product director Matthew Fox will take you through in a moment, um, and also from a range of um, speakers that that go from. Um, member organizations partnering closely with um, APN members to deliver um, early examples of, of, um, of value. Um, so the speakers you'll see today will take us through a lot of, of really interesting applications from uh, a very specific lab-based technique, technique to using um, some of our, our tools for um, making data science a, a reality, reality in an organization. Um, and then also looking at examples of how to handle individual products, um, such as our ontologies. And I think you'll see that theme throughout the, the next few days as, as one of those areas of maybe low-hanging low fruit that can really get your allotrope journey started um, by implementing our controlled ontologies into your um, reference systems in your company. Um, that's today's agenda. If we just quickly go to the second slide. Um, Again, the virtual event, as, as I think we learned from the last session, um, we have the opportunity to break it up over multiple days. So we'll get together again in another focused two-hour session on October 5th, um, and continuing with some, some additional talks that explore um, topics of, of how we start to, to spread the allotrope word and the allotrope mission further and further through scientific publications um, to the academic community. Um, some a collaboration with academia to build an ontology for um, a space that um, process chemistry that extends and, and complements the, the instrument domains that we've been working on so far. Um, in a series of, of applications between um, member companies and, and active APN members to bring forward um, examples of um, integrating our LCUV model um, with a method method database, um, bringing forward mass spec models, and then uh, a talk I'm you know very interested to see is is then maybe the the next frontier once we start all generating um, ADF files is well what do we do with them and so um, Zach will from Paradigm Four will start taking us through well what do you do when you have millions of ADF files and you and you want to do data science and how do you do that well. So again, starting to think about how we're going to consume the data. So really interesting things. And then finally, on the last day, um, some additional applications of our framework to uh, case studies in uh, small biotechs, um, tooling, some tooling um, from um, member companies to, to build converters faster and go from models to ADF files, and then some, some technical know-how from our product director, Amnon Sheikh. Um, and then we, we've also added um, some an additional 
um, technical session that will be hosted by OSPIS. Um, the uh, presenter's a little camera shy, but we'll get a photo by um, by October 7th. And then a new addition, um, a facilitated panel discussion with some members of the community so you can ask questions live. And we can, um, again, try to do as much as we can in this virtual venue to, to be interactive. Um, so uh, next slide, please. So we have a lot coming, and, and hopefully that's an agenda where you'll be able to come back multiple days and, and continue to, to actively participate. Um, really important part of our journey always is when we, we add new members um, that will, will participate um, on the journey with us. So we're happy to say uh, in 2020, we've had um, several companies uh, join uh, that you see mentioned here. And specifically, we have uh, members of, of three of the companies here um, today to, to say hi to the community and, um, you know, informally um, in, participate in their first Outro Connect virtual meeting. So from, I think this is the order we'll do it in. First from Intel, we have Stephanie Cope with us today. Stephanie, did you want to say a few words? Yeah, thank you. Uh, good morning, Stephanie Cope. I'm part of Intel's health and life science business. Um, we're really excited to be a part of Allotrope. Uh, we've spent most of Q3 onboarding and uh, ramping up, and um, we're excited to, to dive in more in Q4 um, and are looking at um, hopefully standing up a POC. So our team uh, focuses on developing uh, SDK and <laughs> data analytic tools, um, and hopefully we can apply that to ADF. So. Great. Thanks, Stephanie. And it, sounds, and it sounds like we have a development team there with you ready to go. Yes, we sounds do. Good. Yes, we do. <laughs> Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank, thank you and welcome. Um, and from Benchling, uh, Stella Howard is with us. Stella, did you want to say a few words? Hi, good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Um, yeah, my name's Stella. I'm uh, with Benchling, and um, I think a lot of the team members from Benchling will be our engineers and um, part of our product team. Um, I work on the the commercial side of Benchling, but then I'm covering for folks while they're out of town. And Benchling is an informatics platform, and our community really includes, um, we actually have over 230,000 scientists um, that work in a variety of different scientific verticals, um, from large pharma to research to emerging biotechs and academic labs. So. Um, we are a product that houses a lot of scientific data um, for many of these types of customers. And so we want to work toward making the data exchange pretty, you know, as straightforward as possible and as simple as possible. And so we're excited to join the Allotrope Foundation, um, the partner network, the APN network, um, to work toward that cause with our members and customers um, and learn from other Allotrope partners. So we are very excited to join. and take the workshops and all the other good stuff that you guys have set up. Great. Thank you very much. Welcome, Stella. And finally, from Datmatics, we have um, Charles. Um, is it Fraccia or Fraccia? Yeah, Fraccia. Hi, everybody. Fraccia. Um, Charles Fraccia. I'm a CEO and founder of BioBright, uh, actually a, a company based in, in Boston. Uh, we were acquired by Datmatics, so I'm now the VP of data at Datmatics. Um, and uh, our team has been sort of uh, heavily involved in, in doing very data-driven and data-heavy uh, processes in, in biotech and pharma. So we're very excited to be part of, of Allotrope uh, and work with uh, the experts here on data standardization and analytics and machine learning application uh, downstream once we have these, uh, these standards. So we're very excited to be part of that, um, to bring expertise and to learn from the whole group. So thanks so much. Great, thank you. Um, thank you to, to all three. And again, I encourage the community um, to reach out, say hi um, to uh, to our new members, uh, make them feel welcome, and importantly, let's let's get going working on things together. So, um, with, thank you very much, everyone. With no further ado, I think I'm turning it over now to our product director Matthew Fox, and he will take you through an update on our roadmap, um, a, th a third quarter snapshot. Matthew, all yours. Thanks. And in the interest of time, I'll go more quickly over the product updates. Uh, it's definitely available via the uh, slide deck here, and we'll have a, a release email coming out later today with the third quarter release. Uh, and then I'll spend more time on the, the roadmap to recognizing value. So for the overall uh, product, it's not. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. So highlights from the latest releases. Uh, before I get to that, let me go to the RFPs as soon as it loads. 
So we had two RFPs in the third quarter. Uh, I just want to give a quick update that we're still going uh, in the technical assessment phase of the ADF Python library. So we've shortened it to the Py ADF. Uh, I know some folks have been inquiring about that as to where we are in the process. The third quarter release was a bit heavier than we expected. So we've kind of uh, had put more resources toward the release. And then we have tentative to start the uh, evaluations for the high level API for the tabular graph, graph models in the, in the next week. Uh, and then updates from our, our latest release, which is coming out today, we'll have um, ADF, and then we have a shackle validator update, and then we have uh, some updates related to the AFO and ADM. So a quick refresh of how we get to these ideas and how do we dr uh, drive them into the roadmap and deliver. Uh, so it comes from the community. It goes through the working groups uh, where there's the assessment as well as the review and folks have that, uh, that foundation discussion. Uh, also, they can, the ideas can come directly through the product or the product team as well as the business process owners like Vinny and Corey. And from that, we do a quarterly assessment uh, and backlog inclusion for a roadmap or the projection for what we're going to be working on in the next quarter. And we would have uh, an updated roadmap. Uh, at the moment, we don't have an updated roadmap. We have pending some uh, efforts and decisions from the, the board directors on a specific direction of what is included. Uh, however, we have many ideas in the pipeline or at the top, just waiting, waiting for the go ahead and move forward. So I don't have an update on the roadmap at the time. Uh, it, it will be noted in the release email later today where the link is for that. Uh, some updates for the ADF. I won't go into too detail. Uh, I'm just going to make short on time, but you can see here that we have uh, updates to another um, minor release, the 1.5.2 RF. Uh, updates also for the Java and the C Sharp, which uh, we now have uh, in sync as of the, the last release as well from the HDF team. And then we have a minor shackle validator update. However, it's a, an important one because it allows easier access uh, and usage of the validator, I should say, because uh, direct support for the network uh, IRIs as opposed to having to upload an actual file. Uh, so part of our uh, drive for 2020 was expanding adoption. And we're doing just that constantly and consistently through the year so far. Uh, and you can see here is another release for movements to the recommended status, the RECs in this column. Uh, meaning uh, beyond the testing phase, uh, so now fully implemented uh, or accessible to folks. Uh, this is also available online as well as the next slide here for the those moving into the uh, candidate recommendation. So these are the things that uh, require a little more insight. It is possible to go directly from a working draft to a recommended uh, recommendation status uh, for things that are less uh, complex like the nephilometry, which was on the previous slide. Uh, so this is uh, these things are, are always available in this link down at the bottom of the page uh, on our website. Uh, they haven't been updated today because we haven't done the release yet. When we release, this page will update as well.